preparing for exam can sometimes be stressful from planning your time on how you can squeeze your study hours for all of your subjects to studying them. If you want to know some tips on how you can prepare for your upcoming exams, then keep on watching. For the first tip is to make a study plan. First of all, I want to be re realistic on this part because I know some of us cannot really prepare two to three weeks before the examination, of which I'm also guilty with because most of the time, all of the outputs or projects given to us were due a week or two before the exams. And yes, we have to prioritize those first, but if you still have time, Make sure to plan out the days when you will be studying and when you will be able to review your lessons. Personally, I can study two to three subjects for the whole day and I created my plan on this monthly planner. I also create some check boxes if I have already studied a subject and if I'm done reviewing it. Be familiar with your study process and plot out the days when you will be able to study for the exams because it's only you that knows your process, your study process, and you're the only one that knows how you can budget your time to accommodate all of your subjects. Second tip is to take down notes. Actually, this should be done during your discussions. I have an in-depth tutorial on how I created my digital notes. I will be adding the link here or in the description box. If you really want to ease your exams, you have to take down notes. Do not only rely on books or presentations. Well, I don't speak generally, but some professors tend to add information not included in those reading materials. And being attentive in school and taking notes will be a great help. Third, if you utilize digital notes and you prefer having a physical copy of it when you study, make sure to print them all at least a week before. But if you're already good with digital notes, then I think you can study digitally. Do it at least a week early so that you can already compile the materials you will use to study. And this will also ensure you get the notes you need to review. Fourth is to compile all your quizzes. If you're still using online platforms for your exam, try checking your learning management system if the exams are visible, and if they are, you can compile them. But if you're on a face-to-face -face setup and if you have test papers, try to ask your prof if they can give it back to you and just tell them it's for review purposes. Fifth is to know the best method that works for you. Personally, I prefer the Pomodoro technique, but instead of 30 minutes study, I studied for 45 minutes and have a 5 to 10 minutes rest. This helps you to retain more information because in my case, if I study for 2 to 3 hours, I feel more drained and my brain cannot really process all of the information. So breaks between study sessions can help you refresh your mind once in a while. Sixth, if you're studying mathematics, try to compile all the equations on one paper or you can place it on an index paper. So if you're required to memorize all of the equations, you can use your compiled equation notes to recall while you are reviewing so that you don't need to flip all of the pages of your notebook just to check if that one equation is right or wrong. Also, you can do some practice questions on the web. You can search for a worksheet and try to answer it. Seventh, while studying, don't just read through your notes. I think this is one of the mistakes that most students do. Reading your entire notes will not be enough. You have to understand the content or you have to really understand the lesson. Do not only memorize the terms or definitions, but try to make yourself understand a word or a term in simpler terms. If you can explain something in a less complicated way or on your own words, the information will most likely retain on your mind. 
So when I'm studying, I try to explain the terms to myself. Basically, I'm like teaching myself of what I'm studying. And that's why I'm not really studying on cafes or libraries because, girl, I am so loud when I study. So. And lastly is to have some rest. Refrain yourself from cramming or staying up late before the exam because the tendency is that you will not be able to answer the questions the same way if you have enough sleep. You will just feel tired and exhausted while taking the exam, which is not a good idea. We need to refresh our minds so that we can function well, we'll be able to comprehend the questions correctly, and ace our exams. And those are some tips on how you can prepare for your upcoming exams. Some of it may or may not work for you, but you just have to learn the correct method that best works for you. I hope that you got something from this video and here are the videos shout out. If you want to be included on my next video, comment below what is your most effective strategy or method that you use that helps you on your exam or that helps you to prepare for your exams. We may learn something from it and also incorporate it into our study session. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope that you got something from this video. So if you like this video, click on the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yes, thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!